Hello, it's Steve White, Trekboy89 for Steve Arts 89 Well, we have a little bit of a surprise um, Star Trek Discovery Season 4 trailer. Uh, it comes from one of the comic con conventions it was on this week. I think it was New York Comic Con. I can't remember which one it is. I'm not going, I don't care. Um, it, um, it's, it's your usual minute or so. Um, it just seems a bit same, same. I mean, it looks good. Visually, it looks good. Discovery always looks good visually. Um, the effects are always good, um, the production design is always good, but it does seem very much like the same story. There's an anomaly, it's going to destroy the universe, and they're going to spend the whole season solving that problem. And that's what this Star Trek is, solving problems. It's not about exploring, um, it's just about um, overcoming diversity and um, solving problems, whereas Star Trek is really supposed to be exploring space within... The, the backdrop of a utopian universe where everything's already sorted. Here they've destroyed the Federation and rebuilt it and now they're trying to manage it and this is, it's, it's like today, it's just like well today we're trying to manage our politics in Gene Roddenberry Star Trek they had it sorted so they just had to go out and explore, they were free. The, these people are not free, they're, they're just marred in their um, rebuilding and, and, and f trying to work out how things work. It's just, it's not the Star Trek story that I want to see. So it's it's hard to um, be interested in on that level. As soon as I sort of saw the setup, I just sort of was like, okay, let's just watch the visuals. Um, so not a lot of enthusiasm. Now, one thing I did like, though, was there is someone else, I'm guessing it's an admiral, or maybe it's the um, the Federation president. I've, I heard something about a Federation president. Um, there's a woman with red hair. She looks alien, but not but drastically alien or anything, she looks kind of human. Um, she's chewing Michael out, basically saying your acts of le le leader leadership is about balance and your acts of bravery are like a pendulum and you know a pendulum you know it swings back, it swings forward and you know it can be like a wrecking ball if it's you know not um, right and she's basically saying yes you're brave but you are foolish, you run in and you cause just as much destruction as you do um, salvation. So I like that. That was good because that is absolutely true. She's been absolutely reckless and I don't understand how she got command. Saru left and he gave a command. Saru came back so why didn't he get command? He really should have command. He was first officer. He's got the most experience. He's already captained the ship. We know why she has the ship. It's um, it's just because that's she was the one who was meant to have it as far as the story was concerned. But it doesn't really work in that universe so it's like okay. It kind of worked when Saru left, but now Saru's back. It's like they made him leave just so they could justify giving her the captain's chair, but they didn't really have him leave because who wants, you know, him to leave? Because we all like the character and we all love the actor. So, of course, he's back. Um, you know, they weren't going to let Doug Jones really go. It was just for the story. So, um, it does look great. Uh, there's some shots of the ship that look great. There's some shots of anomaly. There's, there's a little bit of... Um, an idea of the eye and, you know, visually the eye and that, you know, um, space and time and, you know, it's all just a blink in the universe and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it's interesting. It's nice to look at. The, 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 the visual stimuli is there, um, you know, it can get your um, your goose flesh up and so forth and so on. But it's, it's, I'm just looking past that and saying, what is this really going to be about? Are we going to have exploration? Are we going to discover anything? Or are we just going to have damage control and, you know, people just trying to fix problems that they cause just for the sake of giving the characters something to fix rather than actually having something real to explore and something real to learn or something. It's, I don't like modern Star Trek. I don't like modern Star Trek storytelling. It's not original Star Trek. It's not about exploration. It's not about a utopian universe that we've already got things sorted and we just have to enjoy the fruits of that and learn and gain because humanity has evolved. And let's talk about evolution for a moment. Everyone's talking about the Ferengi um, Starfleet member in, in, in the shot. Now, it's great the Ferengi are part of the Federation, but why does she look like she's been gnawed on by rats? And I think it's a she, um, either way. I mean, in thousands of years, we basically look the same human beings. The Vulcans pretty much look the same. Why is it other races like Klingons and Ferengi look different, so drastically different? than the ones we saw just a couple hundred years ago. Is evolution really going to move that fast? Or is it a matter of they changed it for production reasons or licensing reasons? Um, 
Now we all know the Klingons looked like that in the first place, um, but um, I mean, we all know what Klingons look like in the first place. They changed them. The reason why they changed them was because of production budget. They didn't have a big production budget on the originals. They didn't quite get it right in the first film. By the third film, they had it right, and they've been consistent since then. So changing them later, they made the excuse that they were um, a, f a Klingon sect that had been separate from the rest of the Klingons on a generational ship, and that's why they were different, but that actually turned out to be a lie. So they just changed it for licensing reasons, because they couldn't use the original Klingons without actually paying out a license fee to the original designers, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like they've done the same thing with the Fringy because there's no actual in-story reason for why they could have evolved so differently and looked so differently, as far as I can tell. It's just, and that's why people are ripping it, and I think that's fair. They don't look bad. The design's fine. I think it looks better than the original, but um, it's not consistent. I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. I didn't stick to five minutes. I was trying to do this video in five minutes. Um, I missed my mark. But, um... Yeah, I don't have any, anything else to say. It just looks like the same same. It looks beautiful, but it looks like the same same, and it's not the kind of storytelling that is really appealing to Star Trek fans. Um, new fans, yes, because they're fans of drama and general science fiction, so they don't crave the specific things that made Star Trek Star Trek. Um, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll watch it. I've watched every season hoping it would be good, and being objective to begin with and then trashing it when I wasn't happy. Um, I'll give it the same chance I've given every other season. If it starts off good and keeps on going, I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. I'll be fine with that. If it's not, yes, of course, I'm going to tear it apart like everyone else does. <sighs> I'm going to go. Bye. Just a little note. Um, Star Trek Discovery is actually going to air here um, in Australia on one of our channels. Um, I think it's 10 Prime, one of the 10 channels. Uh, at 9.30, and it seems like they're trying to do the same thing for Paramount Plus that they were doing for CBS All Access, where they showed the first episode on TV to get people in, and then to stream it, and sign up to Paramount Plus and stream it. But um, much like before, it was a bait and switch, where the first couple of episodes feel like Star Trek, and then once you hit the, f the end of the second episode, the third episode, everything changes, and it's absolutely not Star Trek and veers very far and keeps veering fur further and further throughout the series into like the mirror universe and then a little bit past that and um, then they started to pull back a bit in the second season um, but yeah so it'll be interesting to see how that played out I'm surprised they're pulling the same stunt and it'll be curious to see if there's some ratings for how this episode actually does um, just like when they did the same thing in America and when they um, also showed the whole season from the start um, when they were sort of having struggles for finding content so they decided to put Star Trek up since it had already had its day with streaming and now they thought they could use it for some you know first action first run TV um, it'll be interesting I'm gonna watch it live on TV just to, to see how it you know how it comes across a couple of years later knowing everything I know I was thinking of going back and redoing rewatching the series and doing um, a sort of retrospective review, knowing what we know now about um, the series, and I might start here with this episode and keep going, um, but I'm not sure. It's not on for another couple of hours. I'll see how I feel after I watch it.